Hello, everybody. Looks like the gauge says it's empty. Let's take a walk into the kitchen and see what's in the fridge today, guys. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Hopefully this will be a nice tasty treat. This is Belching Beaver's Horchata Imperial Stout. And this is brewed by Belching Beaver and they're out of Vista, California. Uh, this particular version uh, uh, was sent, was, uh, was obtained through uh, Serval Liquors. Uh, Donovan and the guys out there uh, have a great place in San Diego. 2,000 beers in stock, craft beers that is. Uh, I doubt if you're going to find a Budweiser in there. But uh, Their website is craftcity.com. You need to go check that out. These guys ship all over the country. Uh, if your state allows them to ship, they can ship you beers. You can go to the website, place an order, and as long as your state allows them to ship beers to your state, They'll ship you some great California beers and some of the beers from other states, so Alaska and some of the other places uh, over on the uh, West Coast that we can't get here on the East Coast. So check them out. Uh, give them a, a shout if you order something from them. Tell them Greg's Beer Review sent you. This is, uh, this is an Imperial Stout coming in at uh, 9% ABV. It is an American Double or Imperial IP. Imperial Stout. Uh, don't think it's an IPA. Look how dark that is in the bottle. You can't see through it. Very nice label. Got the Belching Beaver logo on there, and, and all their stuff is silk screen color on the on the bottle here. Very nice. Horchata Imperial Stout, nine percent alcohol by volume. I don't think they date their stuff, but with this particular style being an Imperial Stout. Really not that critical, but I would love to see a year on this particular type of beer. That way you'll know when you bought it. Like I said, if you go into the store and you buy it, when was it produced? I mean, it's on the shelf, but you don't know if it's vintage 2012, 2013, 2014, 2015. Well, when was it put in the bottle? So, don't need the month and the day, but we would like to see the year, guys. So, I'm a dating freak. That's uh, my OCD. I, I, harp about this on just about every video guys. I know a lot of you are sick and tired of hearing me say it, but I'm going to keep saying it until I see it on every can and bottle that comes through that door right there. So, uh, food pairings for this beer guys. Cuisine. But, uh, no, I don't even have the cuisine listed here from this one. This has the cheeses. Buttery Brie Gouda Havarti Swiss. And since it is a stout, it goes well with your chocolate dishes. And the meat is beef, smoked beef, game, and grilled meat. Glass right of pint, Becker, and Nonic Tumbler, Snifter, oversized wine glass. I've got the uh, Sauvin, S A U V I N, beer glass. My brother Paris sent me this, and I cherish it. It is my favorite glass. Uh, this beer can be sold. I've been a 9%er. This beer is going to keep for 10 years or more if you sell it correctly. So. I don't think there's anything else we need to talk about. I don't have the IBUs on this beer, I don't think. Nope, it's a 9%, so let's pop the cap on this puppy and see what we got. Very nice cap on this one. Got the Belch and Beaver logo on it and uh, the Beaver on there. Very colorful cap. I will be saving this. Nice hiss, a little bit of smoke coming out. Big bottle, 22 ouncer. And I'll look again for a date, but I don't think they date their stuff, guys. Let's go down the center on this, see what we get. We'll save half of this for the other half. Man, just a little bit more. And as it rises to the top of the glass, about a finger and a half of head. Good looking stuff. Over to the light. Uh, I don't see any. It is pitch black. 
Now, when I go to the bottom of the glass, I see a little bit of red rubiness in there, but the fat part of the glass, I'm not getting any light. But the thin part here, I'm seeing some ruby red tinges. So it's not black as motor oil. It has some red rubiness to it. So through the thin part down here, I'm getting some red rubiness through there, but nothing through the back part. Let's get a nose on this one. Wow. Big chocolate notes on this. Oh, yes. I mean, it doesn't say chocolate on the beer anywhere. Wow. Big baker's bittersweet chocolate notes on the nose. Some roasted malt. Maybe some hint of some dark fruit. But the chocolate is coming through massively. Yeah, the chocolate is... Uh, I, would, I would not expect that much chocolate coming through this unless it had chocolate written on the label here. But wow, it's there. Chocolate is there. And like I said, it smells like a uh, bittersweet chocolate. Like a baker's chocolate. Not a milk chocolate. But it's chocolate. <laughs> what a wonderful aroma that is. Mmm. I'm dying to dive into this. So let's do it. Want to dive in? Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Donovan and the guys out there at uh, Servile Liquors. Awesome beer, it smells like. Let's give it a taste. Oh, yeah. The chocolate is off the chain, guys. They were to put chocolate horchata imperial style on the label. The chocolate is there. It is non-mistakable. Kind of on the sweet side. I don't have the IBUs here. Seems kind of low to me. Not getting a lot of bitterness at all. That was the guess that the IBUs would probably be in the 30s on this beer. Not bitter at all. Mm. That is an easy drinking. 9%. No alcohol taste whatsoever. Very much a dessert beer. This would pair well with all of your chocolate dishes. You can have this as an after dinner dessert. This could be the dessert having this beer after dinner. Big chocolate notes on this guys. Big, big, big. Kind of blown away for the amount of chocolate that I'm getting on this beer with it not having chocolate. But maybe, I don't know, maybe a horchata means chocolate. I don't know. Not familiar with that word. Is it, uh, is it Spanish or, 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 I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to, I'm not going to incriminate myself or show you how stupid I am because everybody knows how stupid I am, but. I barely master the English language, much less something like Spanish or anything else. But it's very tasty, guys. It's very, very tasty. Big chocolate notes on this one. A lot of roasted malt, maybe some hint of dark fruit. But it's right out of the fridge at 40 degrees, so let's let it warm up. And maybe pour the other half of a, uh, a glass of this and uh, come back and do the final chug. Might even fire up a little cigar on this. Or maybe fire up a big cigar. Maybe one of them Gurkhas in there. Humidor back here behind me. I don't know. Come on back. I'll be right back and we'll do the final chug. Alright guys, I'm back. Got just a little left here. I've been sipping on this for about 30 minutes, 45 minutes. The chocolate in this is just blowing me away. I mean, there's no mention of chocolate on here, but it is chocolate out the wazoo, guys. It's definitely a nice chocolatey stout. It does. I mean, I'm really surprised it doesn't have chocolate written on the label somewhere because it, and maybe that's what horchata means is chocolate. I'm not sure, guys. 
nice chocolate roasted malt, hint of some dark fruit, figs, dates, raisins, plums. Roasted malt. I mean, it's it's very delicious. Very, very delicious. Final chug. Very well made beer. I'm not getting any of that 9% alcohol. <clears throat> and not seeing any kind of year or anything on this bottle. And here on the back of the label, made for our two-year anniversary beer, our Horchata Imperial Milk Stout. So, that's why it's so sweet. I was saying bittersweet baker's chocolate, but it is so tasty and sweet. Uh, it may have that milk, that milk chocolate uh, influence to it. So, it is a salute to our over-the-border brothers who are making some fine craft beer. One of our brewers, Ivan the Terrible, lives in TJ and commutes to start his shift here at 2. Also in charge of making our cast when we made this horchata with our own milk stout. We thought it was fantastic. Troy Buddha is an imperial stout. We just loved it. Thought you might too. Notes of coffee, chocolate, and cinnamon. Not getting the cinnamon. The chocolate is overpowering everything. But no date, as far as I can see. Got that bittersweet nose on it, but the fucking milk chocolate taste. Uh, it is very sweet. Not bitter whatsoever. Very pleasant. Very nice dessert beer. If you wanted to have this with chocolate cake or brownies or something, it would pair exceptionally well. So... Guys, as far as I'm concerned, this is a 9 out of 10 for me. Very, very tasty. If it had the year on the bottle, I'd probably step up to the plate and say it's a 10 beer. Very enjoyable beer. Very, very enjoyable beer. So, if you can't get Belching Beaver uh, beers where you're at, uh, and they allow you to uh, have beer shipped in, give uh, Donovan and the guys a call, and uh, or go to the website. Uh, they're out in San Diego, uh, Serval Liquors. Just go to their website at craftcity.com and uh, uh, pick out the beers that you want them to ship to you. And uh, as long as it's allowed to come to your state, they'll package it up and not gouge you on the shipping and get it out to you guys. So, uh, very nice deal there. And I'm hoping the guys here in, at uh, Barrel Chest, Martin and the guys, he's working on his, uh, his uh, getting his license to, to ship beers out. So, uh, hopefully that's going to happen here in the next couple of months. I, I'm hoping it is anyway. But anyway, 9 out of 10 for me on this one, guys. Uh, over to Beer Advocate. Beer Advocate says it's 89 in a very good range. I think it's a tad better than that. Uh, I would give it probably a 95, even a 96 on the scale if I was putting a numeric rating on this. And over to Rate Beer. Rate Beer says it's 96 overall and only 57 in the style. Uh, 96 overall. We're going to go with that. And 89, uh, 96 is... Probably where I would put it. It's that good. It's pretty damn tasty. And 89 from a Beer Advocate, eh, it's a lot better than that. So, uh, and I tell you this all the time, guys. <clears throat> These guys that do the beer reviews and post them on Beer Advocate and rate beer, unless it blows their damn socks plumb off or their hair off their head, uh, they're not super impressed. But this is a tasty beer. It's definitely worth picking up if you're into the, the nice, sweeter Imperial Stouts. And this is what this is. Uh, smell to bittersweet chocolate on the nose to me, but nice milk chocolate taste. Very sweet. Uh, very tasty. Not getting any of that 9%. So definitely worth picking up if you can get your hands on it. So guys, if you've had this one from Belching Beaver, this is their Horchata Imperial Stout. Let me know what you think, guys, and come on back tomorrow. We're going to go into the fridge, see what's in there. Hope you can join me then. See you.